Once upon a time, in a quiet little village, there lived a bald man who had a simple love. He adored berries. Every single day, he would grab his shawl, drape it over his shoulders, and set off to his favorite berry picking spot. He would sit there for hours, plucking the ripest, juiciest berries and enjoying the peacefulness of nature. It was his favorite part of the day, and no one could interrupt his routine. But one fateful afternoon, while the bald man was completely lost in his berry picking, a wicked witch happened to pass by. From behind a tree, she spotted him, and as soon as her eyes landed on his shiny bald head, her mouth began to water. Oh, what a treat, she whispered to herself, licking her lips. If only I could capture him, I'd make the most delicious meal. Every day after that, the witch would watch the bald man from a distance, her mind swirling with plans to capture him. She imagined all the ways she could cook him up, how she and her daughter would feast. Her hunger grew with each passing day until she could no longer wait. One afternoon, the bald man was picking berries as usual, completely unaware of the eyes watching him from the shadows. The witch crept up behind him, moving as silently as the wind. Without warning, she grabbed his shawl, wrapping it around him tightly. The man gasped in shock, but before he could react, the witch had bundled him up like a sack, tying it securely. Now you're mine, the witch cackled, dragging him along the dirt path, her heart racing with excitement. She couldn't wait to get home, cook him up, and serve him to her daughter. As she walked, the witch began planning her meal, imagining the spices and ingredients she would use. Oh, it's going to be perfect, she said to herself, her grin growing wider. But as they neared the edge of the village, the witch suddenly felt the urge to visit the bathroom. She stopped, looking around in frustration. She didn't want to risk losing her prize catch. Spotting a small inn nearby, she dragged the sack inside, looking for someone to guard it while she was gone. Inside, a few villagers were sitting quietly, minding their own business. The witch marched over to them and, in a menacing voice, said, I'm leaving this sack here. If anything happens to it while I'm gone, I'll come back and devour all of you. Her eyes flashed with anger, and the terrified villagers quickly agreed. As the witch disappeared into the bathroom, the villagers noticed something strange. The sack was moving. Curiosity got the best of them. Slowly, they untied the knot, and to their shock, there was a man inside, alive and struggling to escape. Please, the bald man begged. You have to help me. If you don't save me from that witch, she'll eat me today and come for you tomorrow. The villagers, their hearts pounding with fear, didn't waste any time. They quickly freed the bald man and replaced him with a bunch of knives and sharp objects, hoping to trick the witch. The bald man thanked them, promising to find a way to stop her. He slipped out the back door just as the witch returned. The witch grabbed the sack, not noticing anything unusual. She felt a slight prickling inside but dismissed it, thinking it was just the bald man struggling. You can fight all you want, she muttered. Once I get you home, it'll be the end of you. Meanwhile, the bald man followed her from a distance, careful not to be seen. He watched as the witch reached her house, calling out, Daughter, come quickly. Look what I've brought you. Her daughter rushed out, her eyes lighting up at the sight of the sack. Oh, mother, I can't wait to cook him up, she squealed with excitement. The witch's daughter grabbed the sack and hurried to the kitchen, but as soon as she opened it, she screamed in horror. Mother, what is this? Instead of a plump, bald man, the sack was filled with knives and sharp tools. The witch, furious, stormed into the kitchen. I'll deal with those villagers later, she growled. But for now, we'll have to make do without him. She stormed out of the house, leaving her daughter alone. As soon as the witch was gone, the bald man saw his chance. He sneaked into the house, carefully making his way to the kitchen. There, he found the witch's daughter's cooking pot and, with a wicked smile, cooked her up into a stew. Afterward, he put on her clothes and wig, 
disguising himself as the daughter. Not long after, the witch returned, still fuming from her failed plan. She found the disguised bald man sitting at the table, pretending to be her daughter. Mother, I've made dinner, he said sweetly. Let's eat now, and we'll catch the bald man another day. The witch, still frustrated, agreed. She sat down and began eating the stew, savoring each bite. This is delicious, she said, smiling. You've really outdone yourself, my dear. The disguised bald man watched her with a sly grin, waiting for the right moment. As the witch finished her meal, praising every bite, he suddenly stood up, ripped off the wig, and shouted, Guess what? You just ate your own daughter. The witch froze, her eyes wide with shock. What, what did you say? She stammered. You heard me, the bald man shouted triumphantly. You've eaten your own daughter, and now the village is free from your evil. The witch's face twisted in horror as she realized what she had done. Overcome with grief and madness, she let out a terrible scream and ran out of the house, never to be seen again. And from that day forward, the villagers were finally free from the witch's terror, all thanks to the clever bald man.